Hey everyone, so today we're talking about the iPhone 15 Pro Max, more specifically about the action button, which is up here. So for the past couple of days, I've been shooting a lot of video. I've been testing out the Apple ProRes log shooting. Uh, and for the most part, the inbuilt camera app is pretty great. Um, but there are some advanced settings which are not exposed in this interface. So if you're familiar with the iPhone, you actually have to go to the settings app, look for the camera, and then inside, this section here is the advanced settings. So for example, I very often like to toggle HDR on and off, you know, as I'm doing my testing, I wanna see what the HDR video looks like and I also wanna see what non-HDR video looks like. So toggling this is a hassle because you have to go to the settings app, look for camera and so on before you can reach this toggle. Now in the camera itself, there are some options down here. So for example, there's the uh, flashlight on and off, there's exposure compensation, there's this pro toggle, and then there's this active stabilization mode which increases the stability if you're like running, for example. This pro button is redundant because there is also a pro res button up here which does exactly the same thing as this button down here. I wish we could change this to HDR on and off, but unfortunately you can't. So what I've done is I've created a shortcut which will open up the advanced settings here so we can toggle between HDR on and off. And if you're not in the camera app, holding the action button again will take you back to the camera every single time. So if you're interested in how this is done, keep watching. So how do you make this shortcut? Well, there are actually two parts to this shortcut. The first being the shortcut itself, which is this gray tile up here. If we press the three dots, you'll see the details of the actual shortcut. So the key part is actually this open URL part down here. This prefs root equals camera. That is how you actually open the settings directly to the record video part of the camera settings. Uh, the second key component is we're going to use the clipboard to act as a global variable so that we can actually know when the camera is open or not. Now I mentioned that there's two parts to this shortcut. This is only the first part, the shortcut itself. The second part is actually an automation where we actually populate the clipboard with the name of the device and also the date, depending on whether the camera is open or closed. So once you've done that, when the camera is open, the shortcut will know to open the settings. And when the camera is closed, you'll know that you want to open the camera. This even works on the lock screen. So if we hold the action button here, it'll open the camera because the camera was closed. Now, if we press the action button because the camera is now open, it will open the settings uh, and so on. So it will always toggle between camera and settings, camera and settings. And if the camera is not open, if you're on some other app, if you hold the uh, action button, it will always open the camera first. All right, so how do you make this shortcut? Well, the easiest way to start is head to the shortcuts app and then create these two automations here. So I'll make them from scratch so that you can see what I did. And the purpose of these two automations is actually to put things into the clipboard to tell us whether the camera is open or closed. Now remember, we're using the clipboard as a global variable because there's no other way to tell our shortcut whether the camera is open or if the camera is closed. So let's start by making these two automations. It'll become more clear as we build this. So let's search for app here. And then we want to choose camera. So camera, so there it is. And we're choosing is open. So we're gonna do something when the camera is open and we're gonna run immediately as well. So press next. And now it's asking, what do you want it to do when the camera is open? So we wanna do a new blank automation uh, and we're gonna add an action. And the action is to copy something to the clipboard. So using the clipboard, we're gonna put something inside to tell us that, okay, the camera is now open. What I'm gonna use is I'm gonna use a device detail and tapping the device detail again will bring us the option to choose what device detail we're talking about. So I'm gonna put the name of the device into the clipboard when the camera is open. So I press done. So now I have two of these because I already had one before. Uh, now we're gonna create the closed action. So press plus here, again, app. And then this time we're gonna, again, choose camera. Oh, this one. And then we're gonna choose is closed and untick is opened. Again, we wanna run immediately. So this will run immediately when the camera app is closed. Next. And now we're gonna tell it what do you want it to do when the camera app is closed. Again, new blank automation. We're gonna again copy something to the clipboard because we're using the clipboard 
as a way of storing a global variable. So content, again, here, this time, we're not choosing device detail. We're gonna copy something different so that we can tell that, oh, this is no longer the app being open. So we're gonna copy the current date instead and then click done here. And that's it, so we've created camera is closed and camera is open automation. And all these things do is copy the current date when the camera is closed into the clipboard and then copy the device name into the clipboard when the camera is opened. So I have doubled here, so I'm just gonna delete the doubled up ones. But this is what it will look like after you've created these two automations. All right, so after we've made these automations, we're gonna make the shortcut itself. So we start by tapping the shortcuts tab down here. As you can see, I already have advanced camera settings shortcut created here in the top left. We're gonna make it again so that you can see my thought processes uh, and how we did it. So we start by pressing the plus to make a new shortcut. We're gonna name this shortcut camera settings and then we're going to add an action. Now the first action we're gonna add is actually the set variable action. So this basically sets a variable that we can refer to later. So we're gonna name this variable device name and we're gonna set this variable to a device detail and the device detail we care about is actually the name. So this is important because we are storing the device name into the clipboard to act as a flag to tell us whether or not the camera is open or closed. So because everyone's device name is different, uh, it's easier to just get the device name and then store it in a variable so we can refer to it instead of typing out the name of the device every single time. So after we've done that, we're gonna ma make a uh, if statement and the if statement is going to check the clipboard. So if the clipboard does not contain or is not the device name, then we know that the camera is not open because that's what we defined in our automations, right? When the camera is open, we populate the clipboard with the device name. And when the camera is closed, we populate the clipboard with the current date. So as long as it's not the device name, we're fairly sure that the camera is not open. And then we need to do something different, right? So what do we do when the camera is not open? Or what do we do when the clipboard does not have the device name? We want to open the camera. So to do that, we're gonna press done here first. Then we're gonna search for the action down here. Uh, I think it's photo, this one. So there it is. We're gonna open the camera in photo mode when the clipboard does not have device name. In other words, when the camera is not open and you act activate this shortcut, it's going to open the camera. Next, what happens if this condition here is, you know, false, right? If the device name is actually in the clipboard, then we know the camera is open, then we wanna open the advanced camera setting so that we can toggle quickly between the camera and also the advanced setting, um, depending on which is open. So to do that, the trick is to look for a open URL. Let's see if we can find it. Open URLs, so this action here, and the URL we're opening is a special URL, which I have copied here to my notes. This URL will take us straight to that advanced camera setting that has that HDR option. So this is clear this variable. We're gonna put the URL in here. We're just gonna paste it here and then done. And then we're gonna move this open action into the otherwise, so the else part of this if statement. All right, so this is pretty close to done, but there is one thing we need to do, and that is to clear the clipboard, because right now the clipboard contains the device name. So for us to reach this else, it actually has to fail this condition here before it reaches here. So that means that the clipboard contains the device name, and we need to clear that because we are opening the settings app and essentially closing the camera. So to do that, we're going to add another set clipboard, oh sorry, copy to clipboard action here. And then we're gonna clear this variable and we're going to copy the current date into the clipboard and then we're gonna move it underneath the else here. Okay, so we're basically done. So this will do it. So what this is gonna do is when you run this shortcut, it's gonna set the device name into the variable called device name. And then we're gonna use that variable and put it inside this if statement, which checks if the clipboard contains device name. 
If the clipboard doesn't have the device name, then we're fairly sure the camera is not open, then we're just gonna open the camera. If the clipboard does have the device name, then whenever the camera is open, then we're just gonna open the preferences, the advanced settings down here. And also we're gonna clear out that clipboard so that we know that the camera is now closed. So this is done. Next, we're gonna to go to the settings and we're gonna set the action button to a shortcut. And then we're gonna choose the camera settings shortcut, the one that we just created, and then we're gonna test it. So let's close this, and now we're gonna hold the action button here. And it's asking us, because it's the first time we're running it, to allow it to open the camera. Yes, we wanna always allow. So now the camera is open, now we're gonna hold it again, and it's gonna to switch to that advanced camera settings, and then we're gonna hold it again, and it's gonna to switch to the camera. So depending on the context, depending on if the camera is open or closed, it's gonna open the camera or it's gonna open the settings like that. And it also works on the lock screen. So if we lock the screen here and then we hold the action button, it's gonna open the camera because the camera was closed. And if we hold it again, it's gonna open the settings. And it's just gonna to toggle between the two like so. And so that's basically it. So that's how you would map a shortcut to your action button to be able to quickly toggle between camera and settings and back again and so forth. So anyway, I hope this is useful and thanks for watching.